Dude, this dude said, I could see you in a gangbang. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You I can what? see you in a gangbang and and propositioning females and and then the the, the going the going saying uh, amongst the females who got hired was well it was one female who came out and said oh yeah well you know I was excited you know in, in getting hired to this position yada 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 and the first thing I hear is hey watch out for this guy don't let him corner you in the elevator <laughs> yeah, but you, 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 you get what I'm saying yeah and you know what's sad openly, about guys are openly watching porn. You know what's sad about the whole thing? People criticize um, the Nick owner, right? But you know what the Nick owner did when they accused Isaiah Thomas of um, uh, sexually assaulting the young lady uh, in the Knicks um, st um, staff? I mean, you know, off front uh -huh. office. Um, uh -huh. He went and gave her a settlement. You know what I'm saying? Him and Isaiah, you know, agreed to let let's let pay this lady off so that you know. Everything will be but cool it, here. But Chief, Chief, this is deeper than just sexual harassment. You hire a reporter who already had committed or already was, you know, convicted of uh, 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 what you call it, domestic violence, right? Right. And, and I guess everybody deserves a second chance. But then he ends up dating somebody on the staff. Right. She comes to work with a swollen face. And then they, and, 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 and when they ask her what's going on, she says, oh, well, dude hit me. And she is basically, in, you know, not enforced or whatever, but encouraged to just suck it up. So now all of these women in, in, in this work environment have to now come to work and see this dude who they all know will put their hands on you. They right. got to come into work and see this dude every day. You cannot tell me Mark Cuban didn't know about it. And for Mark Cuban to come out even publicly and say, oh, well, I felt like if we gave him counseling and we kept him here, he wouldn't do it to anybody else. Wow. That's Are you, you know serious? What? You know what? He should be and, and, forced to sell that team, bro. He should uh, be forced to sell that team, man. For, uh, for a guy. For a guy. And I'm sorry, Chief. I know I'm going on. But for a guy. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead, man. Who, who preaches to be so hands on with the team and don't nothing go on with the team and he don't know about like outside of Dirk and the whiskey, Mark Cuban is afraid is the face of that franchise and, and in this day and age, now that Dirk is over the hill, Mark Cuban really is the face of the franchise. You was the first one up there to grab that championship trophy when y'all won it. You wanna act like you all in front of all of this stuff, yelling at the referees and all of this good stuff. You cannot be absolved of this, man. He needs to sell that team. They, they need to force that man to sell. Chief, we talking about stuff like like twenty years, man. And now, now he hadn't owned the team for twenty years, but you right. knew that this dude had history, and then history repeated itself, and you still decided to keep this dude on your staff. Right. You know what? You know why he he got these his, dudes. I'm sorry, he, <laughs> these dudes on your you know, staff. You know why them dudes is doing that? Because the first ownership was some rednecks from down there in Texas that owned the team before Mark Cuban brought it from them. So they probably allowed that shit to happen and whatnot. And so when Mark Cuban took over, you know, uh, the females probably felt more comfortable being that, you know, Cuban is a public figure out here. You know what I'm saying? So this is my thing as far as Mark Cuban. Uh, and Ready for Life made a good comment. Cuban didn't like Donald Sterling punishment. I'm sure he knew... The same could happen to him, i.e., sell the team. But you know what? If the NBA Cuban knew he had this shit in his back pocket, that's why he wasn't for Donald. Like, doesn't it all make sense now? Doesn't it all make sense now? He mm. knew this shit right here was in his back pocket, and he had a dude on his staff, you know what I'm saying, who was... A, a, a very suggestive towards women and put women in uncomfortable situations and, and, and would say very inappropriate things to women and then he got another dude who who's a writer for his team who he hired who not only you know plead, pled guilty to domestic violence but then dated somebody within the staff and, 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 and was alleged to have done it again he knew Right. This is why right. he was against. Now it all makes sense, Chief. This is why he was against the whole Donald Sterling thing. This is why he said the whole slippery slope thing. Because he knew, probably, that Donald Sterling knew something about this. Right. And maybe right. Donald Sterling could start singing like Rick Pitino is right now. 
and say, oh, yeah, well, you know, this guy here and this guy there and that guy there and that guy there. And these people all know all this stuff is going on and they don't care. Right. Yeah, that's that's sad, man. It's definitely sad. And um, uh, my thing... He's to sell that team, man. Uh, my thing is, is these women going to pro- have this guy prosecuted or do they have a ground to stand on? You know, uh... I don't uh, know because he's coming out and he, he's coming out and denying everything. He is publicly denying everything. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I, I would like to believe it's enough women to where they could be a class right. action lawsuit, and at the very least, they get a civil lawsuit and they get paid out. But at the same time, like they got to sue Mark Cuban too, not yeah. just him, not 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 just the offender, because because from what the reports are saying. You know, when when it was brought to the attention of the president, you know, it was kind of just like swept up under the rug. Right, and, right. And, 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 and now in this day and age, Chief, rightfully so, when everybody's coming out and getting and getting rung up, you know, from Hollywood to to sports to whatever, right, people right. getting hung up on the ringer. Now women are feeling more comfortable because people will listen to them finally. Right. People gonna listen to them finally. And yeah. and, and look, man. Mark Cuban, Mark Cuban cannot escape. I, I, I think it would be civil and 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 criminal injustice for Mark. Look, they fired Joe Paterno for what right. for, for for the Sandusky shit. So why wouldn't they fire? And Sandusky shit went over twenty something years too. So why wouldn't they fire Mark Cuban or, or, or force him to sell the team for what a guy on his staff had been doing for over two decades? Not just that, Michael Way. Mark Cuban shouldn't even be on that TV show he's on, you know. How could he uh, sit up there and tell people, uh, well, I don't think your uh, project is worth me putting my money. Shit, if I was the people that he said it to, he said, and I don't think that you are a good owner, you know, letting all that shit happen. That would fuck TV up if somebody came out. Yeah, but, good those, but those, yeah. People, those people on that show, they need him. I know, I know. Him. I mean, that I'm sounds just, good. They need, I'm just they need saying. Him, he's a, at the end of the day, he's a billionaire. Even if he was forced to sell his team, yeah. he's, he, he, he's going to make more money in the team. They're tanking him. He, he just got fined 600000 You know what's crazy when the best thing in your week is yeah. you got fined $600,000. That's the best thing of Mark Cuban's week last week was that he got fined 600000 for coming out publicly, basically, on, on Julius Irvin's podcast and saying that the team was tanking and that it had been tanking since last year. And then, wow. and then all this other stuff comes out. Like, I mean, come on. He forced to sell that team right now. He's going to make more mm-hmm. money, you know, and he can just walk away and go back into doing whatever he was doing before. Okay, um, black man, angry black man said Cuban ain't going nowhere. People, he said, Pete, the NBA moves last week to establish a hotline for employees to call if they feel harassed. They did this as a PR move to quarrel the growing sanction around this story. Unless he get booted off the shark tank, he will uh, survive this. Uh, well, he got to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And see, this is my yeah, thing, boy. right? This is my thing, right? Uh, people is um, going after Monique about her feelings about the money she's supposed to make and this and that and uh, other people making more money than her, right? And she shouldn't accept whatever. All right, so where's the people at that's supposed to be defending these women, right? And and, 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 and the reason I say this, Mike Wade, because women always talk about women live, right? So why ain't women backing these women up behind this bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And and I don't understand it because I feel like this. If them women is really feeling scared of being at their job and things like this and that, well, they got cameras, you know, they got uh, voice, me- voice messages on your phone where you can tape somebody saying stuff to you. Why didn't they do all this shit when this man was doing this? Not saying he wasn't doing it, but if you really want to burn this motherfucker, why didn't they use their head to burn this man? That's what I'm trying to think and, and say, you know, um, because first and foremost, right? Um, wait, 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 Chief. It's a simple explanation, man. When a person who is directly affected by the situation goes to an authority figure and that authority figure basically tells them to suck it up, you then cannot be... Can you imagine the position? You know how hard it is for a woman? Uh-huh. 
You know what I'm saying? And I don't know how many of these women were black, you know, but let, let's just say a woman, and then I'll throw in, let alone a black woman. Right. To get a position like that in sports, in you know, in the NBA, to where you're in the office working around Mark Cuban and the president and the, and the GM and all that stuff. So now, you go out there and blow the whistle, mm -hmm. who's going to hire you? Oh, that's... Other, than, other, than, other than Greg Popovich and maybe Steve Kerr, who's going to hire you? Uh, that's, so that's... now these women are forced in situations because you got men who got authority figures to, to make a decision to where it's like, do I just suck it up and look out for my career or do I go out here and say something? But now, like I said, because everyone is finally starting to listen to women when they say these things, now is a is, is a perfect time for them to strike, and they did what they needed to do. You know, I, I wish I wish it was a day and age to where they could have just said what they needed to say before, and people would have believed them and did what they needed to do. But you know, I, I don't know. I, I, it, it's kind of hard to say better late than never when I got so many daughters. You know what I mean? Right. One of my daughters could be in this situation uh -huh. later on down the line in life. That's why I said we need to educate these young women that's growing up to go and work in these different office environments, especially corporate. You know what I'm saying? You go work for a corporate um, to, uh, you know, facility with all these here different men working there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, I mean it's real man. Every time a new woman come in, man, it's like shit, it's just like they what y'all used to say, the roosters, it's like they let all the roosters out their hand and they going after them, you know what I'm saying oh, my name is so and so uh, how you doing today, you know uh, uh, I'll pay for that, you want this coffee or whatever, you know, so uh, but you Chief, know, yeah, like, let, 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 let me just paint this scenario to you, and I don't mean to stir up the pot and I don't want to get you too angry <laughs> imagine that's your wife Right. Who is too scared to come home and say something to you because she know you're going to go up there and cause ruckus at the job, right? Right. And she's too scared or because she went to the authority figures and the authority figures basically just told her kind of to, to suck it up. And she don't want to lose her career. So now she got to deal with all this stuff. You don't know what she's dealing with. She got to attitude when she come home. It ain't got nothing to do with you, but you don't even know it. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, can you imagine how many families this could have potentially affected? But because you know what? Women, you know, you know who've been so, so, you know, historically, you know, I guess what? I, I want to say, I don't know, minimized because they're, just because they've got a different gender, and now all of a sudden they're in a position where they can start doing things and they get stuck in a situation to where it's like, Oh, here's a guy of authority. Do I, you know, do do I do what he says to do so I can keep my career, or do I blow the whistle and hope that something happens? And, and then if something doesn't happen, then what? Well, first and foremost, man, um, what's the sense of having an HR in your in any job? In your because in, HR is supposed to be there to help you, right? Who That's HR? Who, who HR work for? Uh, wait, 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 let me finish now. Let me finish now. The that HR jobs stands for a lot because if you neglect your job, right, and if the labor board work like the labor board is supposed to work, you would get in serious trouble behind not defending this person because that's your first step is HR. But I'm gonna go past that right now. I'm gonna go past HR. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to when you said if your wife come home and she can't tell you, right? First and foremost, uh, if that's your wife and y'all made these vows when you got married, right? No matter what the fuck goes on, you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to be able to tell me everything, just like I'm supposed to be able to tell you everything, if the love is there. If you love this woman and and you and that woman loves this man, you're supposed to be able to tell me everything, because... I mean, I, that, hear, I hear all that, Chief. Wait, 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 let me, let me, let me finish now. Okay, let me bad. finish now. Right. Because, see, this is where you strategize when, you know, I mean, an intelligent person would do this. This is how you strategize. When you know your wife is going to a big time job, big time company, right? And you know from other incidents here and there, because the shit been happening ever since I was a kid back in the 60s. So this ain't nothing new. So if you know as growing up things like this happen at jobs, you tell her no matter 
What a, per, a man say to you 